What's up YouTube? It is a beautiful sunny beginning of fall day here in the Ozarks and I wanted to talk to you guys about how you could spend a little bit of money on your tractor now and possibly save yourself a lot of money in the long run. When I decided which tractor was right for me I knew that there were three things that I wanted my tractor to have. A screen between me and the hog, fluid in the rear tires, and a skid plate. I almost never see a tractor with a skid plate now, but there have been three or four that my buddies and a few other people I know who have owned, they had a skid plate on them. So I knew from using their tractors that I wanted a skid plate. And this one here I'm about to show you is honestly the greatest one that I've ever seen. It just absolutely looks good. It functions good. It doesn't look homemade. It almost looks factory. And um, it was created by the guys at Carpenter's Welding out of Harrison, Arkansas. guys now that you've kind of gotten a look at it let's uh let's talk about why i think it's important to have one of these and why i have one of these on my tractor under a four-wheel drive tractor you're going to have a shaft and if you run up on top of something on top of a stump or a rock or something that's going to bend that and you're going to be in a lot of trouble right there that's not good also on these newer tractors you'll see we got a lot of little janky electrical connections that hang everywhere and it would take nothing for a little cedar tree to come up here and just rip that off or tear this off we don't think about our hydraulic hoses and how often you have grass and trees and stuff just consistently rubbing against it as you're driving through the field not to mention grabbing something big and actually breaking one of these but you can wear the coating right off the outside of these and start wearing the wires pretty quick i've seen small trees jammed between the tractor and the tire and pulled up through them and torn up fenders and breaking fiberglass and things like that. I've seen trees pushed up underneath the hood cowl and had it push the whole cowl up off the tractor and break the latches in the front. This is a three-year-old tractor that I use around the house, around the farm, and I also use it in the summers to cut hay. And you can see that the bottom of it is still looking really nice. Another good reason for a pan is let's say I have a leak of some sort, hydraulic, fuel, just oil, whatever. I would be able to find it. I could look down here on the pan and I could see right where it had been dripping. Um, and that would help me to locate the problem where sometimes you have a leak and you don't even know it because it's just dripping off on the ground as you're going and you can't find it or you don't even know that it's been leaking until it's too late. How many of us have climbed on a tractor with a bent step or has the step completely broken off? Here the tree or obstacle is going to hit this before it ever hits my step, keeping it safe and square and looking good. This one was custom made with three holes in it for any spots that I might need to drain fluids or anything like that. That way I can keep up with maintenance and this pan isn't a hindrance. If I'm changing lubricants outside on a windy day, I like to just go ahead and put a funnel right there so I make sure that the wind doesn't blow it around and get it on the pan. Now I've got 13 inches of clearance under here where it's really easy to go ahead and put my drain pan. It works out really well. I've also been asked about the flex. Whenever I'm going through a, a strange ditch or something, well these have gone all the way to the lock. I've got wear marks on here where they've come all the way up and touched and I don't have any touch marks down here on the bottom. So this hasn't been a hindrance at all with the flex of the tractor. My plate is made out of a 3 16th steel and I can stand on it without any, you know, a little bit of flex, but basically none at all. But to be perfectly honest, I hate it when somebody steps on mine just because it's going to scratch the paint off and it's going to make an ugly spot. I even thought about putting, you know, no step or painting something on there, but I just thought that would be tacky. So instead I just kind of grip my teeth and uh, let them stand there once in a while. And for those who think 13 inches isn't a whole lot of clearance, well, 
This isn't a really long tractor. And for me, that hasn't been an issue at all. I've been through creek banks. We live here in the Ozarks and things are steep. When I'm mowing hay, I literally have to lift my loader going through low ditches and, and crazy little spots and over hills that where my loader would actually dig in because it's just so steep going from one angle to the next. And I've never had any problem with it. And it's been fantastic having it there because the few times that I have bumped into something, you know, it, it didn't end up into something that would cost me money. So I'm really glad to have it. And as far as price, I really don't think it was very expensive, especially when you're considering buying a tractor and what things would cost. Um, I don't really know what the price was on it, but whenever I ordered the tractor through John Deere, I told them what, what I wanted and they actually took it to the welding shop right up the road, which made this and put it on the tractor. And that was added into my bill. So really, it's you were talking about a dollar or two a month or something like that you know more if you're doing payments and really not that much more if you're buying it outright in cash so it's really worth having it on a tractor and if you're a savvy do-it-yourselfer you can get out and you could probably make one of these most of the ones that I've seen have been kind of a homemade job and they were rough and I've seen some of them that were just ridiculously ugly but they did their job and we never had to worry about spending money trying to fix the tractor because it was unprotected. Well, all right, guys, I think that's it for this one. I hope that this was informative. I hope it helped you to be able to make a decision as to whether or not you need one, or maybe shed light on the fact that maybe you do need one and that it's even possible to have one on your tractor. And as always, remember to pound that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and God bless. Check you later. If you guys have any questions or comments about this skid plate, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Decided that I, so when I decided which tractor that I nope and this one that I'm about to show you I'm scratching my ear now I'll do it